so this is finding Nemo or evolution of uh, for loop. Uh, and uh, the main theme of the talk is uh, that C++ becomes more comprehensible by the standard. In these five minutes, I can share only one example of, uh, of such uh, an observation. And so let's go and find Nemo. Let's start uh, 20 years ago. Uh, in 2003, when the movie went out, Nemo was six years old. So how could we find Nemo in the age of C98? Well, first of all, how do we detect Nemo? Uh, simple for the fish that I reduced to, the, to just one integer. If uh, it's 34, which is the age of Nemo is approximately now, this is the Nemo. And suppose we have a bucket of fish. We want to see if Nemo is there. So this is just a linear search algorithm, pretty simple. Huh? Well, uh, let's be more precise. Here are five uh, metrics how you can judge the uh, complexity of or simplicity of this algorithm. First is line of, lines of code. It's pretty simple. The tokens, number of tokens, basically number of these things of different colors I see. Uh, number of words in the English transcription. Here it's let I run from zero to number of, uh, number of amount of fish incremented by one if the fish number i is Nemo, return true. Otherwise, if the loop uh, finishes, return false. The number of words here is 29. Uh, so this is the third uh, row. Finally, the cognitive complexity. That's a nice uh, uh, measure that getting traction and was republished uh, recently, like three years ago. And essentially, it just counts the number of constructs that uh, make your uh, code uh, more difficult to understand for a human, such as a while loop, for example, or a branch. It also takes into account the nesting. So here we have a, a loop uh, and a branch that is nested. So that's that makes uh, three. Finally, the grandma test. I recite this passage to my grandma and judge the reaction. Here it was not so conclusive. So maybe not that simple after all. Let's see the future standards. C11 brought us uh, the range loops, which is neat. So we can reduce, we, we keep the, the number of lines of code the same. That no change here, same as with cognitive complexity, we still have these elements, but we reduce the number of tokens and number of words pretty substantially. And so even my grandma gets it a little bit still not very confident in what she sees. Unfortunately, this is the end of the language evolution. I couldn't find any other constructs that make this simpler. However, we have the library. So let's look at the library introduced uh, in C++11. We have stud any of that enables us to, us to reduce this algorithm to just one function call. So cognitive complexity goes to zero, one line of code, and even fewer lines. Fewer, uh, sorry, fewer tokens and fewer words. And uh, seems to be understandable by grandma as well. But we can go better, do better, and go further. Uh, and that is last year in C20, we got ranges that enable us to express the same algorithm even uh, with uh, fewer tokens and fewer words. So even grandma gets bored at this point. At this point. The bottom line is that. Uh, uh, Indeed, C++ evolves into more comprehensible uh, language uh, 20 years down, down the road. Over, all the metrics go down, but wait a minute. All this code is, is valid C++ 20. So we, we still can see this complicated uh, algorithms, even though we can use simpler uh, constructs. So, uh, you, uh, you just you need to watch out for it and uh, simplify your code as you go as you upgrade the languages and uh, luckily if you forget you have static analysis tools to do that for example the uh, sonar lint uh, watches uh, for your back and can uh, uh, suggest you to simplify the algorithm that you have forgotten Probably SonarLint was recently integrated with the C line with this nice idea I'm showing you. 
and that's also what I'm wearing. Thank you. Keep your code simple.